Hello everyone. We are going to be using your app called Pages. So it looks like this. It's an orange icon. I want you to click on that. And there are many different types of templates that you can choose from, but I would like you to just choose the basic blank one for now. Then I emailed you a picture of what I wanted you to insert into this pages document. So to insert a picture, you're going to go and tap on that plus sign in the upper right corner. You're gonna hit photo and then recents and then find this picture in your photo gallery. Now, once you've inserted this, there will be blue marks around it and you can drag that to make it smaller or larger. I want you to make this image a little bit larger so that it fills the page. Then I want you to go to this paintbrush and if you want to, you can add a border to it. up to you or you can just leave it as is but then you're gonna go back to this plus sign and we're gonna go down to drawing now you're gonna have to adjust and drag these orange dots so that it fits around the two spheres then we're gonna select the crayon and when you select the crayon, you can choose various widths. So if you want your crayon to be thicker, choose that one. And you're gonna have a thick drawing. If you want it to be thinner, it'll look more like that. I'm gonna choose the medium. Now below this is the opacity. So that means if it's at 100%, you're gonna get the darkest shade of that color. As you scroll to the left, your percentage will decrease, meaning the opacity of the color will decrease. So it will get lighter and lighter and lighter. That's key to shading in this sphere. Now you can choose to use black or you can hit a different color. So I'm gonna choose this green. Then I'm gonna go back and hit the crayon and this will be my darkest shade. So as you can see, the one on the right, the darkest shade is towards the bottom. So you can use your stylus or you can use your finger and you can go ahead and shade in the darkest part of the sphere. And the reason the bottom of the sphere is the darkest shade is because there is not as much light Okay. Once I filled in that darkness, now I'm gonna change the opacity of the green. So I'm gonna hit the crayon again, and I'm gonna move this down so it's a smaller percentage. And then it, you, as you can see, the green is a shade lighter. So I'm gonna fill that in where it should be lighter. And as you can see, I'm following the curve of my sphere and I'm overlapping so that it transitions well, just like you would be drawing on paper. Then I'm gonna go ahead, hit my crayon again and move the opacity down. And as you can see, again, it's lighter 
Now, this might not be perfect because it is a digital drawing. So, as you can see, it's not going to be quite as smooth as if you were doing it in real life. But that doesn't matter because what we want you to understand is the shading aspect. So the way the light hits the sphere and the different shades that you need to use in order to make it appear in a 3D form. Now I'm gonna go even lighter. See how I'm overlapping? And I'm working my way towards the brightest spot on the sphere. And then lastly, I'm gonna move my opacity to 10%, which is the lowest I can go. And then you'll see it is the lightest. And if you feel like you want to go back in and fix something, you can always change the opacity and then go back in and put more in. So you can kind of tweak it until you feel like you got your drawing right. When you're all done, you can push done. And then we're going to save this. So we're gonna hit the circle with the three dots and you're going to hit share, save to files. Okay, I'm gonna save this in my downloads and then push save and you're all done.